Hi. Uh, I apologize for the way I'm doing this video, but uh, I was doing my dishes and it just come to me, you know. I've been thinking a lot about the trial and everything that's been coming up and you know, as bad as I hate to admit it, my ex still does cross my mind. Not in the way that I love her or I miss her or anything. And it's just the fact that this person is going to be in my life for a very long time to some extent. And you know, I did carry around a lot of anger and hatred toward this woman because of what she'd done to me and my children and you know wasting so many years of my life to try to love someone and help them and just to have them uh, be a fraud but I was sitting here doing this chore and I was thinking you know what I am happier now even though I have complete responsibility of everything that's happening in my life which I did before but I didn't realize it but I didn't want to accept it or whatever and I have more going on in my life and I have uh, a lot more challenges but these challenges I'm having to deal with are challenges that I find them not to be as challenging as it was staying with her and trying to make a relationship work that wasn't going to work and I find that I am so much happier now even though I still struggle and I still have days to where I'm down and all that you know I think that's gonna be for many years but my mental state is getting better day by day I'm moving forward in a lot of areas and I'm really proud of myself but what inspired me to make this video was the fact that I can almost be happy for her because she has moved on or not really moved on but I guess in a normal relationship whenever it ends and that person moves on you know there comes a time when you just have to accept it and I don't know how else to explain it but I'm just happy that She's not in my life. That I don't have to deal with that stuff anymore. And I'm, you know, if it was a, a quote unquote normal relationship to where, you know, it was just a bad relationship and it ended, I would be immensely happy for her that she'd found someone and that they are building a life together. Even though you and I both know that whenever you have a narc like that, that that's not their goal. That's not even what they're attempting to do. And it just, I don't know, I just, I know that they, or she will never be happy, she'll never feel happiness. And it used to really bother me. And it's not that I don't care now. It's just the fact that I don't want to waste my time and energy worrying about something like that anymore. I don't want to feel sorry for her. She had a rough childhood. You know, a lot of people do, I did. But I'm not going to sit and make excuses for her behavior anymore. You know, it's just some kind of realization I just came to. And, uh, I think it's been a few months now, and I, I am freer and happier than I've ever been. I apologize for the lighting. It's just, I, I was trying to multitask today. I've been on a, on a, I started, you know, actually moving toward goals and stuff, you know. I kind of backslid there for a little bit, and I've even quit making videos for a while. I just got really down. You know, not really depressed down. It's just uh, running out of energy, you know. I just felt like I was spinning my wheels and not getting anywhere. And I just realized, you know what? No one's going to help me. And I'm not trying to say that just because, you know, I'm a man or whatever. But whenever we're in these relationships, man or woman... We, it's completely up to us. We have to decide to move forward and to start living our life better. We have to want to do it. And we have to want to do it on the days that we don't want to at all. When we just want, want to lay down and die. That's the day that we have to make ourselves. And that's... It's really hard. 
it's really hard but it does get easier it gets a lot easier because I can remember back when I first left you know how hard it was and even the denial I was in then and thinking about it now it, it's it's really weird to, to even put myself in that place and mindset anymore and I've got to where I don't really care what the hell people think and that's always been a big thing with me I've always wondered you know what people's opinions was about me and you know how am I going to be looked at as a father and everything it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter because these people are not going to be in my life forever they're not going to be in my children's life forever but I will be in my child's life and he will be in mine to some extent or another but I will always be his father and I will always love him and do my best by him and and my other children as well you know since we left my two daughters that you know they they stay with me and God it's just inspiring what they have started blossoming into I mean that you take something out of that environment and it just flourishes and they really do push me and I mean they're they're really great kids I mean one's 19 and one's 16 but God they're inspiring I mean it's really amazing and they haven't gave up on love you know they, they have boyfriends they've picked good boys I mean these kids don't get in trouble they're good students they're they're in sports you know they they they're just really good kids they're a lot better kids than I was at that age and I mean I'm really proud of my daughters you know they 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 are just amazing uh, I don't know what else to really say you know other than you know every day's a struggle and we just we, we have strength in us and we know we do because we've made it this far and if you haven't left you have evidently started thinking about it or you wouldn't be on these YouTube channels I've been where you are I know exactly what you're thinking and feeling a lot of us know exactly what you're thinking and feeling it don't get any better staying it will absolutely get worse you have to leave if uh if you have children do it for them because this abuse is worse than physical abuse in my opinion you know and that's just purely my opinion I've, I've had to endure both kinds you know and I would rather be hit instead of constantly constantly just made to feel like shit but like I said that's just my opinion um, even though they are hand in hand I really think that they're all hand in hand I, I, I do not condone any abuse I think it's all bullshit and I think that there should be laws against you know the abuse that we're going through through these people who are psychologically unstable who are just broken and uh more needs to be done but uh reach out to one another people reach out where all we really have is each other because we're trying to walk through this alone and talk with people who don't understand and that just makes us feel more isolated you have to talk to people get in groups even if it's not face to face get in Facebook groups get in some kind of group you know you have to have an outlet that, that is understood you know you have to uh, and understand that there's nothing wrong with taking a step back in your life my business I, I don't do my business anymore I can be making a lot more money than I am now but I'm scraping by but I know right now this is what I need to do and I can build my company back up and you may have a similar situation you may have an actual career you may be you know a doctor a lawyer a nurse anything like that I mean you you come before that career and you have to make sure that you were worth more than any dollar amount more than anything like that you have to take care of yourself you've been taking care of other people in ways that you shouldn't have been take care of yourself now it'll pay off but it's worth it it's worth every bit of it and you know you'll eventually get to the point to where you'll be able to re restart whatever you were doing and if not then it wasn't meant to be to start with I mean I truly believe that when one door closes another one opens and it, it's an endless option of doors to open we can open any door in our life that we want to and uh, 
we'll get there. I mean, I know having this channel and being on Facebook groups and everything, it really helps me a lot. I notice I don't go to them as much as I used to. I really don't. And it's not because I don't want to help people. It's because, and it's not because I don't need to be. It, it, it's just that at this stage in my recovery, I'm looking and exploring myself a little, a little bit more intimate intimately you know I'm looking closer at who I am without any other interference from anybody else and I'm I'm just rebuilding me and I'm figuring out who I am and what I am and what I'm about and what I'm not but uh I really do appreciate everybody that is on my channel and everybody that subscribes and everybody watches these videos and please share them please I mean I don't charge, I don't do commercials, I'm not even looking for anything like that. I'm purely wanting to share, you know, my experiences and help anyone else that can learn anything or even anything, get anything from these videos. You may have a buddy, you know, we need, I need to do a video about, you know, signs and stuff. You know, we have signs of relationships if you're in it, but, you know, we need to educate people who aren't in these and let them know, you know, this may be a sign this dude's acting this way. You know, he says this a lot or, you know, he's, he's been talking about this. You know, as guys, we have to be able to watch out for our buddies, man. Because who else is going to do it? Being a man is being caring. Being a man isn't being detached and alone all the time and hard to everyone else. No, that's the opposite. As men, we should rise up and reach out for our fellow man. We should help. We should we should love. I mean that's be a man. I mean love is the most powerful emotion that there is, and I mean embrace it. God bless y'all.